What's up guys, it's Frankie here. I don't know if you can tell, but I got my chickens out. They're free roaming over here. And I wanna to talk to you guys about how to go from zero to your first 10 clients. And we're gonna lay out a step-by-step -step plan as best I can do it, give you kind of the high-level overview. And then all you gotta do is execute on those steps. And what you'll find is the first 10 clients will show up. All right. Hola, amigo. Let's get into this. Um, so we got some good stuff for here, you guys. I'll tell you, before we get started, you, you want to know how to get the aw hell no? Oh hell no. If you want to get the aw hell no, nah, do what everybody else does. And this is a backwards way of approaching a market, by the way. I'll tell you what they do. They learn a tool or a system, so like a Facebook or an AdWords or an SEO or a web design or a sales copy, and then they spend forever trying to sell that and the reason why it doesn't sync up is because they can't make the connection of how that solves their market's problems so let me give you a real example of this okay so where i'm from in windsor ontario canada by the way there's about uh eight gazillion uh body shops like there's all these like car guys who start their own shop there's also eight gazillion pizza places little known fact but somehow windsor ontario canada makes fucking phenomenal pizza um, shithole in other, every other way. Um, so anyway, I remember there were, I counted something like 10 pizza places within like two minutes drive of me and I noticed two more opened up. Now you know what the world doesn't need? Another pizza place. I noticed in the auto body shop, 10 more pizza places opened as well. My chickens are running away. It's getting serious over here. I cut myself shaving. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, so, so yeah. Um, it really, really sucks when you're the person who's bringing the 12th pizza place where there already are 10 pizza places. But you can twist this if you understand what I'm about to teach you in just a second. You can twist this way, way simpler. So, for example, one of the ways to get a whole bunch of freedom... So one of the ways to do this, by the way, to get a whole bunch of freedom is there's a guy in my area who was the mechanic only for Volkswagen. It turns out we had a Volkswagen uh, back then. It was, they're harder to work on. There's not many mechanics. You go to a lot of shops and they'll say, I don't want to touch your Volkswagen. So they fulfilled a need in the market. So that's the real key. If you understand that piece, if you actually go to the market. So here's step one, okay? You gotta pick a niche. Let's, let's lay it out. Let, let's lay out my three point plan. But listen up, I got a three-point plan to fix everything. Break it down. Number one, we got this guy, Frankie Finn. Break it down, Camacho. Okay, step one, you gotta have a niche. I'll tell you why, because getting one client is different than getting 10 clients. And you want to be, if you got a niche, you can actually like really hone in on who you're talking to and when people write messages that say like, dear business owner has no teeth, but if I say, hey, if you're a personal injury lawyer, between two and 10 people who handles trucking accident cases, it's just gonna have a lot more power. So think smaller and more niche down, okay? Choose a niche. Secondly, go into the places where those people are having conversations in that niche. If you haven't seen it already on this channel, there is a video called The Unfair Sales Advantage. <laughs> My chickens are... All just running around. Um, so I want you to watch that video. I hear crying children in the background too. That's part of the ambiance. I want you to watch the unfair sales advantage if you have not already, because it shows you how to figure out in your market's own words. So I'll give you a real example of this. So we're not just talking bullshit. Uh, one of the things lawyers say is, um, the hardest part about being a lawyer is just getting the right clients, you know, not just the clients who are in this on principle or think they know the law better than you or want to make them hurt, but the kind of clients who trust you and see you as the learned analysis of a professional, right? So if you just say, I'm going to get you leads, that's way different than if you say, I'm going to help you bring the right types of clients, right? So you got to think about solving the real market problem. And then the third thing you do, and this is Real key is create a small niche, what I call a first date offer, which is a small commitment, like a miniaturized. You want to think about this the way Costco presents to you a free sample. But almost always, if you go try a little free sample of the pizza, you buy the whole damn pizza. So you don't have to give your sample away for free. It just has to be 
a small version of your big offer. And what you want to do is give them something that they can try and experience some kind of result, some kind of benefit right away, but do it strategically so it automatically leads into ongoing. So they're happy with it. They're going to love you forever. That kind of thing. So you do those three things. Pick a niche. Really, really take time to study the market and see what the real problems are. And then come up with an offer that solves that in a unique way, their real problem, right? So you can't just say, I'm going to get you leads if somebody says, I have a problem getting the right types of clients. That's a hell of a sunset, by the way. Mm. It's pretty awesome living in paradise, I will say. Let's put it down here. I don't want to just show you guys my boobies, but that's a hell of a sunset. And for some reason, it's picking up like this. So anyways, you do those three things, and all you got to do then is... Take what you've learned and go put it in front of those people and you'll be amazed because they will pick up on that offer and they will take it because you've actually really listened to them and nobody else does it. Everybody else says, I sell Facebook. How, how can I sell Facebook ads? Right? But they're not really buying Facebook ads like in the lawyer case. They want to buy the right types of clients. You can deliver that via Facebook, but if you haven't figured out that whole system start to finish, then you're going to have a hard time selling it. So think about that in great detail. Get real specific on that and you'll find... It's a whole bunch easier. So that's all I got for you guys in this video. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. May the force be with you.